Jaworski asks for the ball and let's get organized fellas he says Fernandez against Black he's gonna try to get that fifth sixth foul he didn't get the sixth foul but he got the bucket someone na uh, kasama sa i-induct sa Hall of Fame is someone close to you at saka ang ganda ng uh, relationship niyo kasi merong merong love merong hate merong love makita mo ang name ni Sonny Jaworski Robert Jaworski to be included in the Hall of Fame PSC Hall of Fame ano 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 what does it bring to someone na uh, asama niya for, uh, magkasama kayo for the longest time? First of all, uh, I'd like to congratulate him for being an inductee. It's a proof of uh, their sacrifices no? sa, sa mga atleta in general. No? So, maganda at nasama na siya. Ang sarap ni Sonny Jaworski sa isang associated with him, played with him, played against him, and then, and then played with him mag mm. sa karyer niya na napakagandang panoorin. Kung baga, ang PBA hindi pwedeng ikwento, ang Philippine Basketball hindi pwedeng ikwento, na hindi ko kwento yung, uh, yung relationship niyo. How would you best describe his Sonny Jones? He was a very intense player. No? I've never seen a player uh, like him who took uh, his career really seriously. Sa tingin ko, siya yung player na uh, pinaka inalagaan yung sarili niya uh, with regards to his playing career. That's why makita mo naman, he was able to play until I think he was 50, no? although sparingly already, but uh, that's understandable. No? He took uh, physical conditioning at the highest level, really. No? I've never seen anyone condition himself uh, uh, in his career. No? It is just but fitting that the living legend of Philippine basketball be included or be inducted into the Philippine Sports Hall of Fame. And who better to induct him, though not formally yet, than his former teammate, one-time nemesis and now friend, lifelong friend, na si Ramon El Presidente Fernandez, one of the best players also to play ito pong game ng basketball, which we Filipinos all love. Ang ganda no, ng story ito. Ang kagandahan din dito sa ating part 5, this is a two-for-one episode. At itong dalawang to, Sonny Jaworski and Ramon Fernandez, one time na magkakampi, ah, pamula amateur hanggang maging pro, nagkaroon pa sila ng conflict na naghiwalay sila dahil na disband ang Toyota noon pong uh, 1983. We go to the next and probably the most important. Alam niyo yung, ngayon may uso eh. Ay, da, nung panahon namin, may tinatag na kilig moment. Hindi ko lang kung tawag ng mga, ng generation na ito. It's like yung having goosebumps. Ito, isang game na iti-feature natin. It, this will break what seemed to be a cold war between two former teammates, two friends, na naging nemesis, and became friends again. Let's go back in time, 1989! Ako, ganda ko na story to. Do follow this. And this will be part 5 ng ating pong series on Sunny Jaworski. We'd like to congratulate the Big J at patuloy po sana kayo magpalakas ng katawan because napakarami nyo pang story na dapat ikwento sa amin na nagmamahal hindi lamang sa Philippine basketball pero mas lalo na sa inyo. Merong mga times itong mga later years nakanood kayo ng game together sa Moa yata, San Miguel at sa Kahineba yata. That's correct. To see the people no, na nag-gravitate pa rin towards you and him. Anong, ano, anong, anong sinasabi nun sa, sa mga tao, sa mga naka-experience ng, ng Ramon Fernandez, Sunny Jaworski? Anong, anong sinasabi nun sa atin? Sa atin? Well, uh, yun na nga, nakabagbag damdamin yung, uh, yung feeling no, na still, even at that stage of our, well, after we retired already for several years, Ganun pa rin ang reaksyon ng mga tao pag nakita nila kami na nagsama or nagkwentuhan or naglapitan. No? So, uh, 
uh, we feel more honored and uh, uh, masaya na uh, parang it was a uh, nagpakatotoo doon sa uh, nagbigay ng importansya doon sa nagawa namin para sa sport no sa uh, the sport of basketball no uh, sorry nawawala yung tagalog ko no <laughs> it's a clear proof that uh, Marami naman pala kaming napaligaya ang mga basketball fans. No? Ikaw naman, <laughs> sobra ka naman ng maraming napaligaya. Sobrang dami <laughs> ng napaligaya nyo. Alam mo yung, yung may kilig moment? Correct, correct. Okay. Yeah. Isa sa mga kilig moment, eh, di ba, Toyota, tapos naghiwalay kayo. Nagkaroon ng uh, sinasabi ng conflict and all, mm. di ba? Tapos isang game dito sa Ultra, correct. All-Star Game. 89 ha? All-Star Games. Okay. It took that pass na ititira mo. Mm -hmm. si baby, din Roy mo talaga ni Coach Baby Dion. Try meet the pass. Do not expect it to come to you. Meet the pass. Sunny will go to Ramon. And Ramon will take it. One second to go. Yes, sir! Ramon Fernandez comes up with a winning basket. And look at this. The two rivals of the league, the two most dominant figures of Philippine basketball, finally got together, pulled their resources together to come up with a winning basket. And look at them on the ball, they shoot each other's head. Wow! They connived with the last play. It took Jaworski and Fernandez. Probably he was just waiting for that opportunity, you know, and he found the opportunity. The opportunity was presented right there in the middle of all of us, you no? Know? So that's how uh, bright, that's how intelligent uh, Baby Dalupan as a coach, no? creating the teamwork no? that's needed. No? So yeah, he saw that opportunity. It was a spin of the moment lang naman yun eh, di ba? Uh, hindi naman natin alam na gano'n ang mangyayari. Pero napakabilis niya na nagsiselebrate pa kami ng ganyan. Biglang lumapit sa akin, kinuha ako at <laughs> dinalaki sa akin. Nag, uh, Ramon Fernandez comes up with a winning basket. And look at this. The two rivals of the league, the two most dominant figures of Philippine basketball, finally got together. And look at them on the ball. They shoot each other's head. Wow. They connived with the last play. The two rivals of the league, the two most dominant figures of Philippine basketball, finally got together, pulled their resources together to come up with a winning basket. You know, Joe, that's why I know there is a God. If you look back on sa ilang years na yan ng, uh, ng PPA, ano yung alam mo na inibon mo na legacy dyan sa liga? Man? For me, the most important thing there, maybe it would be the same for uh, Sunny George, yung length of time that we played, no? that only tells of how passionate we were for, for the sport. No? Being uh, able to get that longe longevity uh, in, in our careers. No? At ako naka 20 years, ya, a little over 20 years. No? And same with Sina Abit Gidabin, no? yung maglaro ng, ng, ng 20 years. No? Uh, the length uh, of uh, service so to speak no that would only prove to uh, that would only prove yung love namin for for the sport no and hindi ka naman aabot ng ganung katagal kung if you do not take care of yourself physically and mentally no to be able to perform at that level of consistency in all those years that you played uh, it was the consistency of play also uh, is very important